Lastly, we have to discuss the controversial trade of Brian Jonestown to the Red Rockets. Brian is a natural leader, both on and off the field. You know, I'm going to have to disagree with you, Lee, because the trade to the new Braunfels Red Rockets wasn't a good one. It's a waste of hard body talent, and quite honestly, it reminds me of the 1987 season when John Updinger was uh, whacked out in his prime and the Atlantic City Queefs were never the same. Well, we're out of time, so I'm going to have to respectfully agree to disagree. I'm Lee Stonehouse, and this is Sports As We See It. And I'm Pinch Mahoney. Have a great night, sports fans. Want to grab an after-show brewski? Oh, sure thing, champ. I think I could take a little while uh, away from the suburbs, you know what I mean? Great to have a little time away after last week's birthday party. You're telling me, champ. The boss's kid's birthday party is always brutal. I gotta tell you, though, this year's party was especially hard to watch unfold. I'm gonna say worse than even little TJ's birthday party. 2016, Sparkles the Clown, and what we refer to as the catastrophe. I don't think anyone's actually ever recovered from that. Let's take a look at the stats. Take, for example, the legendary third birthday of Lizbeth Kaczynski and your standard roster of past appetizers. A large-scale jump house. I'm going to have to stop you right there, champ, because I had an issue with the past hors d'oeuvres. Strategically, smorgasbord placement in the entertainment area is a better play. Past apps guaranteed enough for every guest on the field. That was the formation of the waitstaff. It was a triumph in motion. I saw a newcomer, Jimmy Jimskin, fumble an entire mouthful of cheese balls back into the communal bowl. You know what? I want to tell you, speaking of bowls, I'm going to talk about little Brittany Meyer and going up to the all-you-can-eat self-serve Sunday bar. Talk about a gal who has bowl potential. I did see it. I couldn't miss it. It's amazing that such a small kid could get every topping from this Sunday into such a small bowl. I'm telling you, she's a superstar. She's got a bright future ahead of her at the Mongolian Grill. She knows that noodles go on top. Noodles last. You put all of the toppings in and then you put the noodles on the top. She's ready for the top. She's one to look out for. Say, what did you think about that face painter? All I saw was a bunch of little spider blands. You know what? I saw a lot of people walking around trying to be like unicorns, but they look like unicants. My kid tried to get his face painted like a Paw Patrol and ended up looking like roadkill. Cried all night. Wouldn't sleep. Say, champ, I gotta hit the head before we leave here. I really like the soap they have here, the hand soap. I believe it's a uh, gardenia scented. It's strong, yet gentle. You know what? I'm going to have to stop you one more time because I want to talk about the hand soap in the dispensers at Bedusi Field, 1997. Uh, yes, I believe the facilities manager at the time was a legendary Burton Hamtrak. He kept those dispensers filled, stocked to the brim with his signature scent. Cucumber, Cucumber Melon! melon.